Hello everybody and welcome back to my In Sound Mind playthrough. Where last time we went ahead, we had finished up, uh, well we actually went through the second floor. And again, we had to go gather some stuff, including, is it me uh, you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. Hey, what you doing? Are you being that bastard that hasn't subscribed yet? Well, why don't you join one of us that have subscribed? As well as that, you might as well tune down to the description down below where I have a new subreddit called uh, r slash realmhq. Other than that, back to your regularly scheduled program. But no, we went ahead and gathered his vinyl. I don't know how many vinyls there are in the game. I'm not intending to swirl it. My role in this is extremely fishy and not in a good way. Isn't Lucas Meyer? Once guy? more onto the breach. Don't be gone too long. I'll try not to. It is cool getting on this thing. Especially since there's only six of these guys left. My Steam app. So I can actually check on my um, achievements so far. I will say this. Thank you, Potato, for suggesting this game to me. <laughs> my god, has it been really fun and really good. Anyway, I need to go to, I think, is it my activity? I'm playing now in Sound Mind, uh, yes. Where is the thing? I'm trying to find me achievements. Is it... Games? Actually, can I just look at... Because it, it tells me, hey, you're playing in sound. Um, the recent. This one. My game. No. Uh, yes, achievements. We have 17 out of 32. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Lights out. Take a chill pill. Collect. We have pill scriber, pill pusher, pill prospector. Game of the year. Nope. <laughs> Which is interesting. Because that one is the hang up on the guy. Of course, I wasn't intending to uh, do it. I still did it, but it was actually, like, right at the end of this tape, so, or end of this call, so. Okay, breathing exercises. Scatter brain. Shuffling for achievements. Push a cart into the water on the way to home. home right You're a mean one. Take that. Give me all you got. Which, I didn't realize I got that, but anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it doesn't tell me entirely. Shoot a crow. Oh, we didn't ride the ball. Doesn't matter. Something about Dave. But I think those are a couple ones we missed, which I don't mind. Nice place you got here. Cozy. And this table? Is it mahogany or oak? I actually have no idea. <laughs> um, Alright, Mr. Cole, why don't you sit down so we can start with the basics? Have you ever had therapy or counseling before? Straight to the point, huh, Doc? Sorry, I... You're not the first therapist I've met with, but I, I sometimes find it difficult to open up. Past therapy sessions were very... productive. I don't think I just think I could say that. The only thing we know is that he's regarded as a hippie and that he definitely has some army experience. All we can say about the guy right now. Oh, that he got a ride to the Meyer place. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm not a super social guy, so you're the first person I've spoken more than a sentence with since I moved here. About a month ago? In that case, welcome to Milton Haven. <laughs> Thanks. Since I'm on the road so much, I, I tend to keep to myself, but... Sometimes I feel like paying people to talk to me. <laughs> I just got a little cabin just outside of uh, town. It's a nice upgrade from living in a van crammed with gear. Hang on, let see this guy's coming with me. wants to Social anxiety. So, what brings you here? That's a good question. I need help staying sane. You see, how this usually goes is that I tell you the 
therapist a story from my time in the armed forces of horrifying experiments, government conspiracies, and cover-ups. Then at some point, you're gonna give me the look. The look? The look you're giving me right now. The look that says I'm talking to a lunatic. Self-esteem issues here. Ah, fuck! I literally just stepped into the water. This doesn't make any sense. I feel like he doesn't... He shouldn't talk because he feels like everyone's gonna not listen. Lunatic? No. Uh, but I am a bit puzzled. Uh, I would very much like to hear your story. Alright, I'll tell it to you, but... Well, I've been made to doubt myself for years, so... I hope you'll take it seriously, take me seriously, and don't give me that look, neither. Just let me do the talking for a bit, okay? It all started back in Nam. Playing tape. Flip over to side B. Elysium Park. This was the other place that they dumped the chemicals. Establish radio contact? Assuming we can't just access it, it's like we can't access this rock. Okay, Department of Agricultural Elysium State Park, temporary closure due to safety hazard. Prohibitions. Uh, uh, the following acts are prohibited within the restricted area. Uh, going into or being upon the restricted area. The restricted area comprises all land and roads belonging to uh, or associated with the decommissioned U.S. installation Fort Sonder, including the old bunker. The following persons are exempt from this uh, order. Uh, any federal officer or designated minor pharmaceutical employees carrying proper permits. Dr. Dismond Wales, the purpose of this order is to provide you with the most uh, spectacular death possible, second only to the heat death of the universe. Gun flash. We'll see about that.
Oh, it's more than a tree coming down. We are here for center, all that. I can't carry that much ammo. Your bridge. And your cabin. Elysium State Park cable connection is officially open. Enjoy the ride in this uh, scenery Elysium State Park has to offer. Now at 200 feet off the ground. Tickets are available now. 16, blah, 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 see you there. Associated with Milton Water Treatment Facility. Interesting. Specifically the water treatment. Check the compatibility of the backup generator rig with my radio baking technique. If it works, it should enable me to turn on the generator from inside the cabin. Ooh. So he's got uh, RC uh, stuff. It's blocked from the other side. Damn it, you can't go through the chip. That is a blocked off chip, though. Entry at 505, made contact with scientists working on the ancient rainbow. She told me she could give me the documents that blow the lid off this entire experiment. I su I'm supposed to meet her soon. Finally, I'm going to get some answers and have a chance, a chance at vindication.
I saw you. Ooh, no idea how that works. Looks custom made. Let's see what it can do. Okay. All right, let's tread back a bit. Okay, ever since I've listened to the deposition of a radio man who survived an encounter with uh, Agent Rainbow in the late uh, 60s, I knew there had to be a connection between radio waves and the way the chemical affects the brain. It's a little known fact that the brain emits electromagnetic uh, radiation, brain waves, just like the radio does. The difference in frequency is so great, however, the two never interfere with each other. But with Agent Rainbow, that's no longer the case. In order to understand how Agent Rainbow works, one must not only understand the brain's chemistry, but its mental process as well. Consider the Jungian concept, the shadow. Turn, in simple terms, the dark side of our personality, every undesirable aspect of ourselves we push down and repress. Agent Rainbow brings it all up to the surface and gives it form. Facing something like that in a sudden way is tru a truly horrifying experience, leading to accelerated mental degradation, followed often by death. That's what's been going on. Ancient Rainbow. The guy we've been seeing is just what is essentially a um, mental construct of our own hate, of loathing, and all that. It is interesting, though, because it actually seems very similar to um, how with uh, the Evil Within, how you, if you're a uh, sense of ego and stuff like that. But in terms of this, it's more of. Um, Again, the lady who was scarred, she saw herself only as being judged and all that. The guy who had his fear of the darkness saw that the only the ultimate light would bring him forward. The guy who could, barely, could contain his rage no more saw only one way through. There you go. Update one. Version 1.1. Nearby radio system, uh, signals automatically detect and display in the monitor now shown frequency alignment when positioned correctly. Added a red action button for convenience sake. Now all I have to do is press uh, it when the device is properly positioned and aim at the desired signal and or source and I can interact with them. Waves on monitor now align themselves with the emitter frequencies in close proximity. It'll light up. After installing the new mobile antenna, the device now picks up frequencies from certain stars. We need to explore further. Uh, certain metallic metal foils have been found to block perception and trust from admission. Picking up strange voices and random patterns. Snake program still crashes the device. Wait, do you have snake on this? You have snake? Further testing is in order. For now, I can at least sleep with less interference. Login to story 65. Finally, some progress. Found a half burnt memo that mentioned an actual chemical agent that was It said, Why fight the enemies when you consider a transmission? But also uh, said that it would prove to be too effective, so they shut it down. I guess they decided to bring it out of retirement.
Now we can leave. It's blocked from the other side. So who the fuck was firing at us? Defeat the Flash? I think you're kind of asking a bit too much, pal. Wait, where the fuck does that room lead then? It's blocked from the other side. What? That's gotta be his bathroom. Try the other way. No. Damn it. Okay, well, let's go try the other one. Stamina. 
obviously we're going to have to go through to here. Thank you. Right on that. Right, let's go up to the thing. The further along I get in recording, the longer the recording job should be. It's a meeting of things home. Wait, is that what's powering that? No, but it doesn't matter either. Bunch of mushrooms. They're not mushrooms. They are very much not mushrooms. Oh, PTSD. Is that a middle finger? You absolute ass. He literally gave me the middle finger. Didn't he? Fucker. Not bad. My device is detecting uh, weak signals from within the bunker wall. Or the, and the walls of the bunker entrance. I managed to interact with two of them before. They seem finicky and buried behind thick cement, uh, cement and metal. Perhaps there is too much interference at the moment. I'll have to try again at a later time. No power. Oh 
god! Uh, okay. Uh, uh, okay. How's it going? That's literally just a fucking sniper artillery. Sniper monkey, get down! Fucking uh, Tango uh, Sierra. Tango Sierra, where the fuck are you? Tango Sierra, you were supposed to help. Tango Sierra. If you don't get that reference, you should watch my just or just cause one. Well, it's spe it's speaking in uh, radio lingo. It said, "Do not open fire." Doctor Weave, boys. Doctor Weave. Tango Sierra, come ahead and Tango Sierra. That's referencing to the fact that Tom Sheldon goes and he's like, uh, what was it, the first one, he goes and he calls in. I don't fucking... <laughs> okay. I mean, if you got health, you can do that. Anyway, the reference is just that Tom Sheldon in the uh, first Just Cause Glad to see it's still good. goes and uh, calls off, or no, he calls in an aerial bombardment. The uh, he goes and he calls in an aerial bombardment, and a group of uh, who are they? They were just, uh... Yeah, he just calls in. He calls in a, a bombardment on a, a group of enemy soldiers. The gate the latch is stuck again. I usually get it to open using one of the spare valves. The water uh, treatment facility has only run. My shift's up, and that means I get to stop caring. So it's your problem now. Good luck. That's incorrect. I need something. No dice. 
Oh god, there's a lot of them. Buckshot. That's how many bucks I give. Anyway. <laughs> Let's get to the next loading zone. No, no, no. Well, technically, it could be fire, fire team, box dot tango. Actually, it might actually be a call thing. And that's a loading screen, right? Yes. Okay, we're good to go. Thank you guys for tuning in. All that just like and subscribe. Comment down below and excuse us. Okay? That's not a great day.